Euclid's division lemma to compute the HCF. This video is not about the how. The how was done in the last video. This video is about why. Why does this method work? Let's look at the mechanics behind it. Let's start with one of the examples we had in the last video. Compute the HCF of 240 and 195 using Euclid's division lemma. Let's say the HCF of 240 and 195 is an H. So H is a factor of 240, H is a factor of 195. Translates to the fact that 240 is some multiple of the HCF. And obviously 195 is also some multiple of the HCF. Let's say 240 is equal to A into H and 195 is equal to B into H. The first question before we start anything is 195 the HCF. Had 195 been the HCF, 195 would have divided 240 which it is not. Therefore, 195 is not the HCF. Having answered this, now what we are going to be doing is we'll apply the division lemma. We'll apply the division lemma and we'll rewrite it to see what is actually happening in the process that we are doing. We would have applied this division lemma on 240 and 195. So first step you would have done is 240 is equal to 195 into 1 plus 45. A reminder exists. You would have said, go ahead and recursively go and do this process. We'll do all of that later. Let's understand this step properly. Let's find out what is actually happening in this process. We can write this 240 as an A into H from equation 1. We can write this 195 as a B into H into 1. So it's B into H from equation 2 plus a 45. Let's take all H terms to one side. So we'll have A minus B into the HCF is equal to 45. A is an integer, B is an integer established. So A minus B will be an integer. So to make it easy for us to see, I'm going to write it as C into H is equal to 45. First, we'll infer this step and then we'll see what has actually happened. So we have established that this 45 that we have here is a multiple of the HCF, right? That is inference number one. What is this 45? This 45 is nothing but the difference between 240 and 195. So what we have actually established is basically this. If H is a factor, is a HCF of 240 and H is a HCF of 240 and 195, then H will be the HCF of the difference between 240 and 195. So H is a factor of 45, the difference between these two numbers. Next quick question that we'll ask before we proceed any further. Can C be equal to 1? Or in other words, I'm asking, can the HCF be equal to 45? How do we answer it? Simply take this 45, try and see whether it divides both 240 and 195. It does not. So the HCF is not equal to 45. So step one, we applied the division lemma. We went ahead and said that because there exists a reminder, go to step two. All of that is what the how. What was actually happening behind it is we were actually computing the difference between the two numbers for which we are finding out the HCF. And we established that if H is a HCF of 240 and 195, then H will be the HCF of the difference between 240 and 195. That's what we have finally achieved. Let's move on to step two of the lemma. In this step, you would have applied the lemma on 195 and 45. Now we'll go to this 195. We'll say this is 45 into 4 plus a 15. This is what we have done in the how to. 195 is a B into H. 45, we have written it as a C into H into 4 plus a 15. So let's take it again to the left hand side. We'll have B minus 4C into an H is equal to a 15. B is an integer, C is an integer. So B minus 4C is an integer. We'll write it as a D into H is equal to 15. Again, what we have done is basically, if you're applying this lemma on 195 and 45, because H is a factor of 195, and in step one, we have established H is a factor of 45, then 195 minus some multiple of 45 will have H as a factor. That is what has happened. Now, can D be equal to one or can the HCF be equal to 15? We'll quickly check it out. The head, will head the 15 divide 240 and 195? 15 divides 240 and 195. So the HCF is equal to 15. Now, in reality, what we have done, we would have said that the remainder in this step is not zero. So let's go to a step three and we would have applied that lemma there. We would have applied it on 45 and this 15 and said that the remainder in this case is zero. So the divisor of this step is going to be the HCF. The divisor of this step is nothing but the remainder of the previous step. 
the remainder of the previous step is nothing but the difference between these two numbers which is why this method is working this method working basically relies on the fact that if two numbers a and b have a hcf of h then the difference between the two numbers a minus b will also have a hcf of h that is a primary reason why this method is working let's quickly recap this in a printed form we found out whether 195 could be the hcf 195 does not divide 240 so that's not the hcf so we will apply the division lemma we would have essentially got 240 is equal to 195 plus 45 take this to the left hand side so 240 minus 195 the difference between these two numbers can be written as ah minus bh or a minus b into h this is equal to a 45 this a minus b for sake of convenience let's write it as ch so 45 the difference between 240 and 195 is a multiple of the hcf so if h is the hcf of 240 and 195 h will be the hcf of the difference between 240 and 195 the question that comes is is 45 the hcf if 45 had been the hcf it will divide both 240 and 195 it does not do that therefore 45 is not the hcf 45 is a multiple of the hcf or h is a factor of 45 So we would have recursively applied it on step two between one ninety five and forty five. Written it as forty five into four plus fifteen. So the difference between one ninety five and four times forty five can be written as B H minus four times C H. This is equal to a fifteen. Therefore, B minus four C into H or D into H is equal to fifteen. So this fifteen, the difference between one ninety five. and a multiple of 45 is also going to be a multiple of the hcf obviously the question that you're going to ask can the hcf be a 15 itself check whether 15 divides 240 and 195 it does therefore 15 is a hcf if a and b have a hcf of h the difference between a and b will also have a hcf of h